Good morning, everyone. Yeah. I have my phone standing on a roll of paper towels, which, like I said, they're amazing. You're, if you're traveling, get a big roll of paper towels. I use them actually after I shower. Sometimes if I don't, you know, if it's cold and I don't feel like having a wet towel in my vehicle, I just use about six or seven paper towels, and it works. You can dry off. So, tips for me to use that. Uh, I want to talk about this because I just feel pain. I feel the pain. The stronger the empath, the more you know the world's suffering. And the more helpless you feel. Last night, 12, a little after 12, I was awoke by a girl that parked next to me in this empty parking lot. There couldn't have been, there was at least 50 parking spaces, if not more, a little more than 50. And there's a, there's me, there was an empty space, and this was in the corner of the front. There was me, an empty space, and then there was another vehicle, somebody sleeping in there, and then there was St. Sonny sleeping by me in his um, SUV. And I was awoken at 12, a little after 12, by this really loud engine in this car. This girl was just sitting in there watching a video because I could, I could see it, right? I didn't really like sit there and pay attention, but she was crying, she was vaping, and she was smoking weed, and she was, it looked like somebody was in a court or like in prison, and they were like, had orange jumpsuits, and they were, it was weird. They were talking to her, and they had paperwork, and so I'm, she was going through something, and, it, and I felt bad. But I was annoyed, too. I was like, son of a bitch, man, a whole empty lot, right? It, I'm like, why? Park right next to me. Have an empty lot, right? But this girl was in pain, and I felt so bad. But, I mean, there's nothing I could do, and I needed to get some sleep. So I just jumped in the front, and I can tell you, if, if somebody, you know, I mean, if you're if you're boondocking and somebody pulls up, and they're just, I don't know. I don't know what that is. They just have to be right next to you. And, and they, that girl, I'm not saying she was a horrible person. She was going through some stuff. She was, but but it was almost like she was allowing it to happen. So it's, it's a toxicity. We all have that. If you allow toxic behavior in your world, it's going to destroy you. And it's going to, your world's going to crumble because you're in its drama. Uncontrollable drama. Poor thing. I feel so bad for her. And like I'm still healing. It's, this is 10 years. I mean, everything's different. My my dark night. Like I said, my whole life has been nothing but dark nights of the soul. You know, being betrayed by everybody who's supposed to um, hold you up high. No, Simba. Was it Simba, the Lion King, when he, they hold up the the cub. That's how every child should be treated by their parents and their tribe. And yeah, that's not how that went with me. I'm not saying I'm a victim. I'm just saying that's how it went. But the latest, greatest was, uh, you know, a karmic, somebody that I cared deeply for. I love her, and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not ashamed to say I, I love somebody. I mean, loving is not the crime. The lack of love, now that's the sin. There was no lack of love on my part. And I don't think she didn't love, it was just a matter of not being able to tell me she loved. You don't realize the traumas people are dealing with when you meet them. And she, she couldn't say I love you. She couldn't. I know she loved me. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I wouldn't spend a year investing my time with somebody trying to get them to, to be my everything, if I didn't think they loved me. It was just, it was torn between two lovers thing, right? So I went off into my solitude and didn't think about her. Didn't think about anything. And she, I don't know if she thinks I stalked her or anything. I just really, I'm not that kind of person. I really, that, that is. I think in the in the ten years I may have like just glanced once or twice and every time it just destroyed me. It literally it was I it took me days just to just yeah. Just just looking at her page destroyed. It's just like so painful. Be so bitch. Don't do that again, right? So yeah, I'm not a big stalker. I don't that's just an unhealthy way to live. So I hid away in my little apartment, quick 
hanging out with all my friends and quit partying and quit doing all that shit and just painted. Ate what I could eat. I suffered. I cried like a little bitch. I ain't gonna. What are you gonna do? We can take away my man card. Fuck it. Okay. I cried. I was in pain. I was alone. The one person in this world I just wanted to be with was the one person that didn't want to be with me or didn't fight hard enough to be with me. And that's the hardest part. And there's a fucking seven plus billion, right? And I found one that I actually wanted to fucking be with. Trust me, humans aren't that amazing. I love humanity. Love and light. I do. But at the same time, the real, let's be real, man. We're all flawed humans and we're all pain in the ass at times. Some of us are just less pain in the ass than others. <clears throat> but I've always been a, I've always been a positive person. I've all, I mean, I've, every, everywhere I've ever worked, everybody I've ever talked to, they always said, you're such a positive person. You always show up with a smile, ready to work. And you know what I mean? It's just, and that's how I've always viewed the light. It's not like I'm just a happy fucking person right now. I'm, I'm just not swallowing in misery. I'm controlling my pain. I'm controlling my demons. So if I appear to be like happy-go-lucky, that's bullshit. I'm just, I'm a, I'm blessed to enjoy the moment and to be a, some kind of sem, semblance of peace. That's it. So am I, am I grinning like a fucking idiot? No. Am I in love right now? No. I look forward to maybe feeling that way again someday. I don't know. I'm 51, so I, don't know. I better hurry the fuck up, right? Anyway. So if you're going through this, it's going to be a minute, and it's going to hurt, but you do get some kind of peace. The universe, God, they recognize, man, they're going to give it to you. They're not going to let you suffer forever if you are suffering. Try not to suffer by loving yourself. That's how we, we just destroy our own selves by our, our own inability to love. If you love yourself, you're going to put yourself out of a toxic situation. You're going to take yourself out of an abusive situation. I mean, even if it's just grabbing a bag and walking down the road and sleeping on the corner for a minute and just finding your way, man. There's people out there that care. They're not everybody's an asshole. They're just, everybody's afraid and this is an interesting time to be alive. To say nothing else. But I love you. God and the universe love you and want the best for you. So love yourself, please. You're amazing. You're a miracle. We all are. Yeah. So, and like I said, always the student, never the master. And you'll never be shocked, but you'll always be amazed. Love and light, people. Have a wonderful day. And check this out. Yep.